Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will have a look on how to divide a decimal number with a whole number. So let's get started. Division of decimal number with a whole number is same like normal division. But in the quotient, we get the decimal point. Means that we get a decimal number as a quotient. Let us see how to divide a decimal number with the whole number. Our first example is 8.4 divided by 7. Okay, here 8.4 is the decimal number and 7 is the whole number. First, we have to arrange like this. 8.4 is divided by 7. Okay, here 8.4 is the dividend and 7 is the divisor. Right? See, in the dividend 8.4, we have here 8 first. 8 and it is greater than the divisor 7. Okay, so here we can take 7 ones are 7. Write 1 here, 7 here and 8 minus 7 is 1. Okay, here 8 after decimal point is there, right? So, in the quotient we need to put the decimal point. Okay, now we can down the number 4. See here we need not to write the decimal point. Now we have 14. See 7 twos are 14 right. So write 2 here. 14 here. 14 minus 14 is 0. Okay. Now the quotient is 1.2. Let us go to another example. Here we have 7.5 divided by 5. First we have to arrange like this. 7.5 is divided by 5. Okay. Here in the dividend 7.5 we have 7 here. 7 and it is greater than the divisor 5. So we can take 5 ones are 5. Write 1 here and 5 here. 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay. Here 7 after decimal point is there, right? So, we need to put decimal point in the quotient. Now, we can down the number 5. See, here we need not to write the decimal. Now, we have 25. See, here 5, 5 is a 25, right? So, we can write 5 here, 25 here. 25 minus 25 is 0. Now the quotient is 1.5. Now let us go to another example. Here we have 34.08 divided by 8. Okay, first we have to arrange like this. 34.08 and it is divided by 8. See here in the dividend 34.08 first we have 3 and it is less than the divisor 8. So we have to take 34. Okay. See here 8 4 are 32. 32. 34 minus 32 is 2. Okay. Here 34 after decimal point is there. Okay, now we have to put decimal point in the quotient. Now we can down the number 0. Okay, now we have 20. See he, here 8 2 is a 16. So write 2 here, 16 here. 20 minus 16 is 4. Now we can down the number 8. And 8, 6 are 48. Write 6 here. 48 here. 48 minus 48 is 0. Now the quotient is 4.26. 4.26. Let's go to another example. Here we have 3.6 divided by 9. Okay, first we have to arrange like this. 3.6 which is divided by 9. Here in the dividend 3.6, first number we have is 3. And it is less than the divisor 9. Okay. And 3 after here we have the decimal point. 
in these cases what we have to do is we have to write zero in the quotient here three after decimal point is there right so we need to put decimal point in the quotient now consider six see here nine four is a thirty six right so write four here three under three six under six now six minus six is zero three minus three is zero now the quotient is zero point four okay let us go to another example here we have two point one divided by seven first we have to arrange like this here in the dividend two point one first we have two and it is less than the divisor seven and after two decimal point is there so in these cases what we have to do we have to write zero in the quotient and here two after decimal point is there right so we need to put the decimal point in the quotient now consider one see here seven three is a twenty one right so write three here two under two one under one one minus one is zero two minus two is zero now the quotient is zero point three okay let us go to another example here we have two point four eight divided by four first arrange like this okay now here two is there and two is less than the divisor four and two after decimal point is there so we need to write zero in the quotient here two after decimal point is there right so we need to put the decimal point in the quotient now consider four see here four six is twenty four right so write six here two under two four under four see four minus four is zero two minus two is zero now down the number eight four two is eight right so write two here eight here eight minus eight is zero now the quotient is zero point six two okay now let us go to another example here we have zero point six two five divided by five okay first we have to arrange like this zero point six two five which is divided by five here in the given dividend zero point six two five first number we have is zero means that for this decimal number we don't have any whole number part okay in these cases what we have to do is we have to write zero in the quotient first okay here zero after decimal point is there right so write decimal point in the quotient now consider six see five ones are five right so write one here five here six minus five is one now down the number two see here five twos are ten right so write two here ten here twelve minus ten is two okay now down the number five 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 is a twenty five right so write five here twenty five here twenty five minus twenty five is zero okay now the quotient is zero point one two five right here zero point one two five okay now let us solve another problem here we have zero point zero six two four divided by six first we have to arrange like this zero point zero six two four which is divided by six okay here in the dividend zero point zero six two four the whole number part is zero so we need to write zero in the quotient first okay here zero after decimal point is there right so we need to put decimal point in the quotient also here decimal point after again zero is there so we need to write again zero in the quotient now consider six 
here six ones are six right so write one here six here six minus six is zero okay now down the number two okay here two is less than the divisor six okay now what we have to do we have to write zero in the quotient and down the number four now we have 24 see six fours are 24 right so write four here 24 here 24 minus 24 is zero now the quotient is 0 0.0104 okay right here 0 0.0104 okay